Hey everybody, there's a recipe on the blog, Family Savvy, for Mitt Romney's favorite meatloaf. I actually found it years ago on a TV show where Ann Romney shared it. I wrote it down, gave her credit, and it's on the blog. And I'm gonna show you how you prep it for the oven and give you a few tips that make it absolutely fabulous. Okay, I'm wearing gloves because I've already got my meatloaf formed but I wanna show you how you shape this meatloaf. You shape it in individual size portions. You know this will shrink during cooking, but there are two reasons that I like to make them smaller. Number one, it cooks more evenly, and number two, it is easier to get the middle done, but you don't ever want it to be undercooked. Okay, I have my sauce mixed up, and you'll see the recipe on the blog, but this has two ingredients that really make it unique, cloves and allspice. This is a winner. So we're not gonna put this on yet. I'm going to show you how to best bake these for even heating and a little cleanup. Okay, you wanna get, this is a roasting pan, and I covered the bottom with heavy duty aluminum foil. Then I got a baking grid and I'm putting it on top of the pan. The reason I'm doing a baking grid is because the fat from the meatloaf will drip and it will hit the bottom of the pan. I sprayed the grid with cooking spray and now I'm just going to place these on the grid and I will tell you, even my non-meatloaf family members love this, and it keeps very well, and it makes great sandwiches if you have any leftovers. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put these in the oven, and I'm going to bake them halfway, then remove them, then brush them with sauce, and bake them the rest of the time. So I'll come back when it's time to put the sauce on these. So stay tuned. Hey guys, okay. These loaves have been in for 30 minutes and they're probably gonna take 30 more. So here we have the sauce that we made. Okay, and I'm just gonna brush it on every loaf. Keep in mind that this will caramelize a little bit since we're cooking this for about 30 more minutes and when you take these out, just like with any meat, you wanna let it rest because it'll, all the juices will collect back in and then it will also finish cooking as it sits. It'll cook a few more degrees. Okay. All right, everyone. And back into the 350 oven. And then when they're done, I'll show you what they look like. Everybody, okay, the meatloaves are ready. They've been sitting in a warm oven, so they're all ready to go. They've rested for about 30 minutes, and I wanna show you why you always wanna use foil. You're gonna have this, but if you use heavy duty foil, almost no cleanup, you can just rinse your pan. But anyway, these are fabulous. I hope you'll give them a try, and thank you so much for watching, and you have a fabulous day.